In today's show, we are taking a look at the Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn McFarlane Toys. Stay tuned. Right, and welcome back to the show guys welcome back glad that you're all here let's go ahead and jump into the commando spawn from McFarlane toys Mortal Kombat 11 before we begin this is red I am your host and guys before we get started don't forget to follow me on Instagram go out there uh, say hello to me check out the toy photographies I've been posting lately don't like Instagram, don't worry about it. Jump on the Twitter, that's my preferred social media. Anyways, I like talking on there. With that said, let's begin, let's take a look at this guy. Before we do, let's also do a little housekeeping, get it out of the way. McFarlane, thank you for including a stand. This one doesn't say Spawn, it says Mortal Kombat. It's definitely appreciated, not needed, but appreciated to have it, have a stack of these. Now, with that, the only accessories that come with the Mortal Kombat spawn is these two trigger looking effects. I guess they're supposed to simulate guns for him. And this is not DC. I'm wondering why he didn't put guns, but then again, I've never played the game. And they definitely look very good. They've got that, uh, you know, that sculpt of a flame kind of look to them. So. It looks pretty, pretty cool. I liked it. I did mess around, put it in his hand before I started doing the video, taking a look at him. Boom. Let's jump in and take a look at Spawn to see what he is all about. And as you guys can see, look at the details of this guy. Now, McFarlane, a few years back, and guys, correct me in the comments, he did release a Spawn figure, a Commando Spawn that came with this huge gun. But I understand that his articulation wasn't that good. It, it wasn't something people were really thrilled about. I wanted one, but when I saw scalpers already putting one at $90, I, I just gave up. I, I thought I was going to create my own uh, commando spawn. But lo and behold, they released this one. And you know what? Adding him to the collection or for any type of filming. And I can tell you one of the things that I love about this character and why I got him because he reminds me of Raz, Raziel or Raziel from uh, Soul Reaver. Loved that game. I wish I would have gotten into this years ago. I would. I probably would have had him. Oh, Raziel, I forgot the name, guys. Forgive me. But I loved that video game. I played it till the end. I loved everything about that game. And, and when I saw him, he just reminds me of that. And, and this could probably be my own version of the Soul Reaver. On there, look at that. He's got the whole belt with the bullets on there. It's got the grenades, got the logo. You know, one thing, guys, and, and forgive me if you guys are not happy with my comments or anything like that. I never felt this thing. I, I really just don't dig it. I don't like this whole bucket thing, or some people call it a Tootsie or whatever it's called. It's not my bag. I've never liked this thing. I never really thought it was cool I, I, you know, just a normal leg McFarlane with a boot or something that comes down but you know I guess McFarlane likes to do that now word to the wise guys put on gloves put on something these things hurt like crazy they're not soft McFarlane didn't make them soft the gun does not come out of the holster so I don't know what's up with all that maybe it's the too much plastic uh, rule that McFarlane has but it's not a DC McFarlane for you not to be able to pull out guns or give us guns with this. But overall, aesthetically, I love the figure. Let's take a look at his typical McFarlane cape. McFarlane cape or Spawn cape, forgive me for that. Look at that. It is a pliable plastic, so you'll definitely be able to animate it. Look at the back of it. Very cool overall. Some small trends treads on the boots so we are looking at that and that's there this really doesn't really do anything when it comes to uh stabilizing the figure it, they're still top heavy and they tend to fall all over the place but again enough of that i'm not complaining uh but then again i do have a right to complain i do pay for these so uh again i do have a right to that so let's jump in 
because this guy, man, I just really love this figure. I might, this might be just my favorite spawn figure reg versus the regular, you know, spawn figure. I, I just can't help the fact that he just looks like the Soul Reaver. Look at that. Who doesn't like that? Anyways, let's take a look at the articulation, guys. We're going to begin with the head here. The head does go side to side. However, he's got the bandana over him, so there is, it does stop. It is a soft plastic. He does look down that much. He does look up that much. So you can see there. So, arms, as you can see already from me messing around with it, it's on that butterfly joint that seems to be one to, to come off, but as you can see, it's coming there. Um, let's see if there's a bicep swivel. Yes, we've got one there. We've got the double jointed, double jointed elbows. You guys can see that there. Wrist articulation. Let's see how much of it McFarlane gave us. And being that this is Mortal Kombat, McFarlane, he does have a little bit of the wrist articulation. It isn't a whole lot because of the gauntlet. But McFarlane, being that this is Mortal Kombat, with the Mortal Kombat, you should add fist. In there, I mean, they're they are fighting and they are using special weapons and things like that. But again, that's just me. So we've got that there, got that there uh, on their waist. We've got all kinds of swivel there, as you guys can see. So there's both swivels on the top part and the middle part there. We do get a nice, generous amount of leg or thigh swivel, not a thigh cut, but swivel. He does come all the way out here in his kick. So, double jointed knees come out to there. You guys can see. And last but not least, we've got the articulation, but this one doesn't show the new peg that is molded in. It's just the, the ball joint hiding under the boot, which is fine with me because I think it does help with that on there. Let's take a look at the effects, how they look. They look like some kind of pistols, and we'll set up his hand so it looks like he's shooting them. Let's put them on here. They're very simple, guys. They just go in there like that. As you guys can see. Or maybe they're, they're designed for one hand and for the other. Let's take a look and see here. You know, with McFarland toys, you never know. So I guess this one goes there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. And so that one goes there. Now, I don't know if the game, they look like guns. They could be blades. Let me know in the comments if you played the game what they are or I could just go to Google it but I'd rather just have a conversation with you guys regarding this take a look at that so what do you guys think about that I mean they look pretty cool a little bit of a pain to put on but it's because of this flame here let me pull this real quickly I know guys you hate that when I pull them off but let's see here all right so Look, starting to look good. There you go. So overall, it's not a bad figure. Like the figure for the price. If you need a commando spawn, get this guy. Do not get the gun with the the one with the guns. Just buy yourself a uh, sh she spawn, and then get her guns and give it to this guy because that's what I'm planning on doing anyways. Because uh, this guy just looks fantastic. Um, and I should have gotten her gun to show you what it looks like. So that's my that's my bad. That's my fault. Wanted to jump into the review. Definitely, he definitely has that Soul Reaver look to it. Let me know in the comments if this is what you like. If this is something that you agree with me. Um, overall, fantastic details. I mean, not much to go on because of the fact that McFarlane doesn't really include that much in his in his action figure but definitely aesthetically he looks great he functions great he moves great i definitely say get this guy adam if you're a collector get this guy if you're an animator definitely adam in there so with that said let me know what your thoughts are 
let me know below in the comments. And if you like the show, guys, don't forget to hit the like, the bell for notification, and subscribe to help me out, help the channel grow so we can grow together. So, with that said, I don't have any other information about this character on the fact that I like him. He's going up on my desk. Yeah, my desk is starting to get crowded versus the totes that I keep him in. But you know what? What I like, I like to keep him on my desk. So this is red. I have no further comments about this review. So I am...